This video tutorial will help you quickly get high quality content into C4D, both from view content stores and poser runtimes, which would otherwise be time consuming and difficult to create using the native C4D editor. To follow along with the tutorial, you will need C4D version 10 or above and a recent version of Poser, and the View Xtreme plugin if you also want to include fast landscapes and atmospheres. To get started, first determine what version of Poser you are using. Version 7 and version 8 requires that you use the Interposer Pro plugin, downloadable from the Kuriyumi Development Zone. Poser Pro 2010 essentially has this same function built in, so all you have to do is to remember to install the optional add-on called Poser Fusion, which is included with the installer. You can then use the standard runtime poses, props, and characters that come with Poser, or you can optionally add to your runtime library by going to daz3d.com and choose from thousands of 3D models, many of them free. For land, water, and sky generation, I have had some success with Views Xtreme plugin. It's expensive, but when working, can save you a lot of time when creating scenes that have sunsets, star fields, fogs, and GPS accurate sunlighting. Try it for free by downloading from eonsoftware.com. Once these plugs are installed, you will see them here in the C4D interface. Let's try inserting a poser object first. It's a bit confusing unless you see it done or happen to read the Mysterial User's Guide. Once inserted, you have a placeholder in the object bin, and you now must go to Object Properties to fill it by selecting a poser runtime object, usually a .ppz file from your runtime library. To get the associated materials, you have to click Create Materials, and you will see the materials bin populated with the object's materials. Click Render and Picture Viewer to check your work. You can add as many poser objects as you like and of any type. Just repeat the steps above. That's how it's done in the latest version of Poser. Older versions need the famous Interposer Pro plugin. To use this plug, it first has to be configured to find your Poser Runtime Library. And once the object is inserted, the object and materials are added at the same time. Interposer Pro also works in Poser Pro 2010, as you can see, and the interface is much more full-featured than the free Poser Fusion plugin. But then again, you get what you pay for. To add a dynamic landscape, terrain, atmosphere to your C4D scene, you have to pay even more, about 1400 USD more for Views Xtreme plugin. But again, if you do this work a lot, or you're composing a feature film, then the cost is probably justified. Clicking File New gives you the basic view setup within your C4D space and then you use the other controls, Edit, Object, and Atmosphere, to adjust. For example, let's add some clouds to this scene. Essentially, Xtreme gives you all the power of view, without having to leave C4D. You can also bring in view scenes that you have created using Xtreme in standalone mode. So let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on View Full Blown. That would be a much longer one than this. 
Well, I hope this has been enough to get you started using poser characters, props, and view scenes from within C4D, and I hope to meet you here again soon on the farm. Move.